All the information shared in this video is available on the public platform. Nothing is discussed here which may breach the confidentiality of our armed forces. Defense Detective respects our defense forces and works only on the information that is available for public use. Explosions were heard near the Iranian city of Isfahan early Friday as Israel reportedly launched a heavily anticipated reprisal strike for an Iranian attack on Israel days earlier, defying international pressure to stand down. There was no official confirmation of a strike from Israeli authorities. State-run media in Iran reported only that air defenses were activated, downplaying claims of an attack on a military site in the city some 315 kilometers, 196 miles, south of Tehran and describing the incident as business as usual. But unnamed Israeli and American officials told U.S. news outlets that Israel had carried out a strike. And the New York Times said three Iranian sources confirmed that a military air base in Isfahan had been struck. The scope of the damage was not clear. The apparently limited nature of the strike, reportedly carried out with drones rather than missiles or air strikes, and the lack of official acknowledgement will likely give the regime in Iran the strategic deniability needed to wriggle out of its bellicose threats to attack Israel a second time providing an early indication that both Israel and Iran may be seeking to step back from the brink of war. The attack had been widely expected, with Israel providing indications throughout the week that it would not let an unprecedented Iranian barrage of over 300 ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and drones early Sunday pass without a response, leading to fears of spiraling tit-for-tat attacks giving way to all-out war. However, there were also indications that the Israel Defense Forces had moderated its attack plans in response to international pressure for restraint. National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gvir, a hardliner who has pushed for wide military action against Iran, commented on X with a simple, lame. Iranian state TV said that shortly after midnight, three drones were observed in the sky over Isfahan. The air defense system became active and destroyed these drones in the sky. The broadcaster later said the situation in Isfahan was normal and no ground explosions had occurred. Iranian officials initially grounded flights and cleared its airspace, but lifted restrictions on flights later Friday morning. An Iranian analyst told State TV that the mini drones shot down by air defenses in Isfahan were flown by infiltrators from inside Iran. A London-based Iranian news channel has published footage purporting to show an alleged Israeli drone strike on a military base near Isfahan. Air raid sirens and explosions can be heard in an unverified video posted to X, formerly Twitter. One source told Reuters the U.S. was not involved but was notified by Israel before the attack. According to CNN, quoting a senior U.S. official, Israel told the U.S. the attack was not targeting Iranian nuclear facilities. Both CNN and Fox News quoted officials describing the attack as limited. An Israeli source was quoted telling the Washington Post that the attack was meant to serve as a warning that Israel's military has the ability to reach Iran. Israel's Home Front Command said there were no special instructions for staying near bomb shelters, indicating no Iranian response was expected. Isfahan is home to sites associated with Iran's nuclear program, including its underground Natanz enrichment site, which has been repeatedly targeted by suspected Israeli sabotage attacks. State television described all sites in the area as fully safe. Tasneem later published a video from one of its reporters, who said he was in the southeastern Zerdenjan area of Isfahan, near its nuclear energy mountain. The footage showed two different anti-aircraft gun positions and details of the video corresponded with known features of the site of Iran's uranium conversion facility at Isfahan. He said, at 4.45, we heard gunshots. There was nothing going on, it was the air defense, these guys that you're watching, and over there too. The facility at Isfahan operates three small Chinese supplied research reactors, as well as handling fuel production and other activities for Iran's civilian nuclear program. 
The air base in Isfahan has been home to Iran's fleet of American-made F-14 Tomcats, purchased before the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi had warned Israel before Friday's strike that Tehran would deliver a severe response to any attack on its territory. Iran told the United Nations Security Council on Thursday that Israel must be compelled to stop any further military adventurism against our interests as the UN Secretary General warned that the Middle East was in a moment of maximum peril. The attack on the 1st of April on the Iranian diplomatic premises in Damascus showed yet again that this regime does not hesitate to violate the fundamental principle of the immunity of such places and people as well as the known and well-recognized Vienna Conventions. As the majority of the members of the Security Council declared at the April 2nd meeting here, the attack was a clear violation of the Charter of the United Nations, international law, and the Vienna Conventions. And thus is strongly condemned. Regrettably, the Security Council had not taken any action during the past month to our official and repeated request to prevent further attacks by the Israeli regime on Iran's interests, centers, and military official military advisors of Iran who were there to fight against terrorism and did, did not, and due to the unfortunate and completely irresponsible behavior of the United States, the UK, and France in response to this illegal attack, failed even to issue a mere statement containing a simple condemnation. Alongside the strike in Iran, Israel was also accused of carrying out an attack overnight on a Syrian military radar installation in the south of the country. The United Nations atomic watchdog confirms that there is no damage to Iranian nuclear sites after an alleged Israeli drone attack early this morning. International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, Chief Rafael Grossi continues to call for extreme restraint from everybody and reiterates that nuclear facilities should never be a target in military conflicts, the body posts on X, formerly Twitter. The watchdog adds that it is closely monitoring the situation.